Hello, my friend. I love to mix my own paints, but sometimes I just don't have the time. So I've got something easy planned today. I've noticed these at Michael's, and maybe you have too. Artist Loft Ready Mixed Paints. Normally sold separately in large bottles, I found this set with all these adorable tiny bottles and colors. I'm a big fan of the flip cup technique, so let's start with that. Let's get started. Okay, so I've got my beautiful paint set and a 10 by 10 canvas. The colors this set comes with is titanium white, violet, bright blue, phthalo blue, aqua green, and old gold. It reminds me of a peacock. They did have another set. It had a lot of um, what looked like red, blue, white, and maybe some green. I have a mini video I'll throw up here so you could take a look and see what it looks like. But for now, we're going to do a flip cup. So if you're new to acrylic pouring or you've never seen it before, a flip cup is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. We're going to take the paint, we're going to put it into the cup, and then we put the canvas on top of the cup, we flip it, and when the paint falls, it creates a very beautiful effect. Look at how cute this little bottle is. I cannot wait to use up all the paint and use these little bottles for, well, probably more paint. <laughs> Ooh, the gold is actually a metallic gold. That's a nice touch. Actually, let's go with the order that's on the box. Let's make it easy. So they're all individually sealed. That looks really pretty inside. We're just going to pour straight from the bottle. Um, this should be Artist Loft paint mixed with their pouring medium um, to their own perfection. So I'm not going to use any silicone in this video. Um, I want to see exactly what these paints can do on their own. And then I will probably do a future video where I add silicone. I did get the Artist Loft silicone, so that will be very fun to test out with this product. Now for a flip cup, you can pour the paint into the cup whatever way you like. Um, you will get varying different kind of effects based on how the paint mixes. So far it looks like it, it's very fluid. Um, I would say almost like an oily kind of water. But the colors are very vibrant. I said I'd go with the order that was on the box, but I really like that gold. Oh, 
Okay, so I almost filled this cup to the very top. There's about a finger's distance from the lid down. And for the majority of these colors, the most I've used was the gold, and I've still got about half a bottle left. So I'd say, depending on your choice of canvas size, one of these kits could do at least two paintings. If you were to go with the smaller, you know, four by fours or five by sevens, you could probably do three, maybe even four with this one kit. All right, so the next step is the best part of the flip cup. It's the flip. You wanna make sure you've got both hands steady and firm. I have to put on gloves. Wow. I've definitely never had that kind of consistency before. Wow, that is beautiful. It's definitely unlike anything I've ever painted before. I do, though, want to get in there. With some of my leftover paint and do up these edges. Okay, my edges are edged up and beautiful. Um, my mix ooh, definitely had a lot of blues and dark colors, but the gold and the turquoise is coming through. It kind of looks like northern lights to me. And we didn't use any silicone, but we are getting some tiny little cells. That's very exciting. I cannot wait to try this again. I've got paint left over. We can do the exact same colors, but we'll add the silicone and we'll see, you know, how many cells we get then. All right, it's been a couple of days and the painting is dry. I just wanted to show you that it's got this beautiful gloss finish. It might be because I put a lot of paint on the canvas, but I also had a lot of drag that way, so I lost a good portion of it. Um, and this area over here is kind of embossed. You know, it's uh, 3D kind of off the canvas, and then this part has dried very 
satiny, very glossy on a thin way. And then this is nice and thick. Um, but as it dried, you can see it kept that beautiful translucent iridescence. You can see through the layers of the colors. So I am very happy with this painting. I am a little bummed about this edge, but I can do some sort of embellishment with it, you know, add some flowers or a border, you know, anything I decide that I might want to do. So in my book, this is still a success. We did also get a couple extra cells while it dried. Not very many and they're very tiny. Um, so I'm definitely going to do another video with the rest of the paint that I have and use the Artist Loft silicone and see how many more cells we can get. I hope you've enjoyed this process as much as I have, and I hope it inspires you to go out and try this product for yourself. That's all for today's review. I hope it helps you in your ongoing quest for artistic creativity. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to be notified about future reviews. Thanks so much for watching. Have a magical day.